mad times. I heard it spit once and it was garbage. To keep it on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad. <laughs> Welcome back to Teens Room and today I'm back with another video on some more messy drama. Alright guys, let's get into this. So as you guys can see in the beginning of this video, today's video is going to be about DJ Academics and sweetie all right so i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know who dj academics is he's pretty much known for keeping up with celebrities latest drama but a lot of people know him these days for keeping up with the latest things that are going on with takashi 69 because him and takashi are pretty close now that he's on the show called the everyday struggle on the complex channel it gives him a little bit more of a platform to talk to and about celebrities now on today's show they were talking about Tierra Whack and he was basically saying how he'd never seen Tierra Whack and how it's a good thing because most of these Instagram famous girls or most of these rappers these days female rappers at that you see them before you actually hear their music and you see them promoting things on Instagram and all this stuff like that and he actually used sweetie as an example which really wasn't good because he went as far as saying that when he heard her spit, she sound like garbage. I don't know too, too much about it. I don't even know how she looks. And For real? I don't That's actually great. Looks. But that, I'm gonna tell you why this is great. There's mad Instagram chicks <clears> who claim they're rappers, and I know them every day for posting their little ads for whatever company, and I, I see their presence more than I've heard them rap. Like, mm -hmm. Saweetie, I've seen her mad times. I heard her spit once, and it was garbage. To keep it on it. You feel me? So, you feel me? So, so I'm glad when I'm hearing the talent before I'm seeing the person. <laughs> Look at me. Why y'all every time I say something? No, 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 no. Y'all look only like garbage. No, we were... I feel like, Dream Doll, I feel like she's like crossing that. Like at first, I only saw her. And I feel like now I'm hearing more music. Maybe took the... It takes time. Ladies. Yeah, and it takes yeah. time. Maybe, you know what I mean? I heard she got some bars. Now I'm kind of checking around. But, you know, uh, I'm just glad with her. It's not based on that because I do believe there's a shelf life on that. All right, so you guys seen that. Now, do I feel like he was calling Sweetie garbage as an artist or saying that all of her songs are garbage? No, I do not. Even though it kind of seems like that's how it was coming off, I do not think he meant it like that. I definitely do think he was talking about her freestyle on Ebro in the morning. You could better see the clock tick tock. Whoa, that me a girl real icy. That means I don't got times for girls that don't like me. I be minding my own bitch. Yep, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys remember that freestyle, and I'm pretty sure that's what DJ Academics was talking about when he said when he first heard her spit, she was garbage. Now, as much as I want to be against DJ Academics and tell him to get off my girl Sweetie, because I really like Sweetie, and I've been following her since before she got famous, so I really, really am a fan of hers, but I don't want to just be on her side because, you know, I'm a fan of hers. I kind of do see where DJ Academics was coming from, because before she did that freestyle, she was basically saying how she's not just an Instagram rapper. I'm a rapper, rapper. See, I, I wasn't sure if she was just like Instagram popping. No, like when I fell in love with rap, I did my research. Um, like I really be rapping. I'm not one of these Instagram girls that just rap because I got a lot of followers. But when she freestyled, it didn't really add up with what she was saying before she freestyled, but I don't really feel like it was that bad. I do feel like she was a new artist at that time, so she probably wasn't really prepared to freestyle, and at least she tried. But unfortunately, in the music industry, trying is just not enough. But I definitely do feel like DJ Academics could have said that a little nicer. He didn't have to call her freestyle garbage because it definitely made it seem like he was talking about her as an artist in general. But maybe I'm taking this the wrong way. Maybe he was just giving constructive criticism, I guess. You guys should let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that he said it the right way or do you feel like he said it the wrong way? Anyways, I want to thank you guys again for watching. Team's right.